drugstore beauty brand superstars are three brands at the drugstore that I choose to bring the cream of the crop products to you so that it can completely take the guesswork out of your shopping and you know exactly what is absolutely outstanding from each of those three brands. Let's do this. So if you missed my video last week, I decided that I was going to make this a series until I've gone through so many drugstore brands that I kind of exhaust the drugstore brands that there are. I want to bring you the very best of the very best that is at the drugstore. So that kind of takes the guesswork out of it. I try a ton of makeup. I usually only hold on to what is the very best of the best. So today we're going to be doing Wet n Wild, Flower Beauty, and what was the other one I'm doing? Number seven, and I wanna bring all of those to you. So let's get into this video about the superstars from each of those brands right now. So you might wanna go back and take a minute and watch that other video. I'll make sure that I link it for you. If I remember, it'll go up in a card right here. Let's start out with Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild is one of those brands that is the most affordable on the most affordable side at Wet n Wild. I feel like Elf, Wet n Wild, and Essence are those brands that really fall into that target category of they have good products and they have good prices. Wet n Wild can be hit or miss though, but there are products that I have found that are phenomenal. Now, if you've seen my video a while ago, you know that I do not like the new eyeshadows that they brought out, but their old color icon shadows are some of my very favorites. I don't have any of the 10 pound 10 pound ones right now because I did have these right here. Now this one is one of the um, big palettes that they brought out last year. This is the 32 pan and I felt like because I had this that I would have just about any. Now the mattes are great, buildable, look gorgeous. The metallics, there's not a lot of fallout. I think these are gorgeous and I use these palettes all the time and they're ones that I reach for over and over again. So I do have these though because I almost feel like these little palettes that they did when they started that are like the cream of the crop. I wish that they would go back to this. And these are some of my favorites. Let me grab my glasses so I can read to you what these are. This one is Silent Treatment. And then this one, oh, this is a limited edition. I actually think I got this one. Let me open it for you. I think I got this one off of Amazon. After I heard Zabrina talk about it, I ran and got it. But the colors in here are, whoa, they're so pretty. So you have the purple and the teal together, and then you have the other two shades that work so good. My very favorite one that is from them is from is called Petalette. This is a new one. My old one shattered, so I did have to get a new one of these. But these are so creamy, and they're so pretty. They're just gorgeous. This pink color right here, you put that on your lid, and it just so much brightness to your lid. So that one is Petalette. And then this one is Sweet as Candy. This has the pop of pink, but it's mostly neutral. They're just so pretty. I love their neutrals. The formula is fantastic and you can't beat it. So if you get on Amazon, eBay, whatever, I know eBay, be careful of eBay, but if you get on there and you do see ones that you like of these four pans, go ahead and jump on them because they're such a beautiful formula. I'm sticking my finger in here and remembering that they're just absolutely gorgeous. They really truly are. I love them. I couldn't say enough good about them. So if you can find this old formula, you're way better off than going for that new formula. I do know that they have this big palette on their website right now and it is on sale. It was only like $15 to begin with. You can't go wrong there. And I also have the original foundation, the matte formula, and then I have the dewy foundation. I have it two different colors. One is a rosy and one is, uh, I think this is just an ivory color. Anyway, putting the two together works beautifully for me, not only for the color to be perfect, but also for the formula, the matte, including the dewy formula together. They're just, they're perfect. And yes, the original one has that scent that everybody talks about, but it doesn't last long on me and I don't mind it. It's such a beautiful foundation for mature skin. As far as I have been using it, it doesn't show up any texture. It lasts all day. It just covers like a dream without being too heavy or cakey on my skin. Sits beautifully and doesn't break apart. Really love these. I've, they're kind of the OG that 
everybody went crazy about 10 years ago on YouTube. You know, everybody was going nuts about them. Now, now way before 10 years ago, way before that, there was these big palettes of highlighter, and I do have this one on. These are the two Reflect highlighters. You still can get these on Ulta and, and on Wet n Wild's website. I'm sure you can get them other places too. This one is Boozy Brunch and it is kind of a goldish color. And I don't wear this. I actually just keep that one to show you guys because it is not my right color at all. But I want to show you how gorgeous and how reflective it is and how all those colors swirled together. They're magical. But this one that is I'll Have a Cosmo, this is my ride or die forever, my favorite highlighter. You can see it um, underneath my blush there and it just catches the light. It is one of those highlighters that feels a little bit more stiff in the pan, but man, oh man, does it give a lot of light and a lot of beauty to your skin. It is on the cast of a pink and so for me and my cool skin it's really great but it does have a little bit of peach in it so it's not going to just look like pink underneath there it just it's gorgeous let me just get a little bit more on here i swore i wasn't going to do more highlight today but take a look at it it is it's so pretty it's just it's one of those ones that i would say that if you've been thinking about it go for it because for it's like six dollars i think it might even be less than that and you're not going to be able to use that up forever and it's just it's beautiful 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 product that doesn't show up any texture doesn't leave my skin looking dry or anything like that i love it and lastly for them is these glosses this is the liquid cat suit um, I don't like the original ones, which are the matte. They just don't work for me. But these ones that are the glossy, this is an opaque formula, and they are beautiful. If you're somebody that likes a good gloss that's not super sticky but lasts around for a long time, you're going to love that. I'm going to just dab in the center of my lips here with my tissue, and then I'll put a tiny bit in the center of my lips. This is such a beautiful opaque formula. It doesn't have any of the stickiness. It's a bit thinner than a normal normal glosses, so it's not real pillowy. But the reason that I love that is because that color is going to stay around for you all day. And it's just, it's gorgeous. It's not like it's going to last for eight hours. I mean, it's a gloss, so we have to be realistic. But it will last a long, long time. So that's it for Wet n Wild. Now, number seven is my foundation drugstore brand. They do foundation like nobody's business. They have my all-time favorite, which is the Lift and Luminate Triple Action Serum Foundation. This has an SPF in it. It has serum in it. It has everything that you need in it. I'm wearing it today. It is my ride or die foundation. Over any foundation that I have, over all of my high-end ones, I have 30 plus foundations. This is my foundation that if I lost it tomorrow, I would go out and buy again. This is my foundation that I wear on days that I'm not testing other foundations for you. This is my go-to beautiful foundation that I am absolutely over the moon happy with. I can't say anything bad about it. Doesn't show any texture, doesn't sit into my fine lines. It covers all of my dark spots. It doesn't settle into my wrinkles. I love it. I just think it is one of those foundations that is just beautiful. It's a little bit luminous on the skin. It's not matte. It's not glowy. It's got just that perfect balance in between. And yeah, it's a gloss glass bottle with a pump. Mine is in cool ivory. And I think this is a very, very high-end foundation that you can buy at Target. So it's gorgeous. Now, the other two, other three foundations that I have from them that I love, the number seven Protect and Perfect Advanced All-in-One Foundation. Again, this has the sunscreen. It has skin-loving ingredients in it. And this is a dupe for the It CC Cream. Although I think that I prefer this over the It one. I think this lasts longer on my skin. It's that gorgeous, just perfected canvas without being heavy at all. You can build on it if you need to cover extra areas. I would say that it's a medium to full coverage foundation That's what I like to wear anyway And I would say that that serum foundation is a medium coverage and you can build on it as well And this is just this is 
beautiful. Perfect. This is cool ivory. Again, all these are in cool ivory. And then I have one that's called Airbrush Away. And I do feel like this is an airbrush foundation. It's one of the foundations that you're going to, you think that it's going to be a drop foundation, but it's not. It feels very serum-like, but that is so light in texture. So if you're somebody that may have more mature skin and you notice that your pores are showing up, you might really like that. What you need to remember if you're having that problem, this is like, I can feel this like going into the skin and it just feels like silk. It's so pretty. So just remember that you need to buff more. You need to take more time. You can't just swipe a foundation across skin that has large pores. Otherwise the, the top part is going to get swiped away and then you're going to have what's left down in the pores. So make sure you're really pressing into your pores. You're really working it in. And this feels like, it feels almost like powder right now. It's just it's gorgeous. I love using that one as well. And then if you have a problem where you don't have a foundation that is your right shade, too dark, too light, whatever, if you want to invest in some of these um, foundation drops, um, this is called Match Made Custom Blend Drops from them. This is so good. Super pigmented, super duper pigmented drops. And if you are somebody that remembers the number seven, not number seven, the Cover FX drops, this is a lot like those. You can wear this on its own if you want to because it has great coverage. So if I have a foundation that's not my right color, it's too light, too dark, I grab this and it just corrects it immediately with like one or two drops. So this is phenomenal. If you're looking for something that would help you, if you have a bunch of foundations sitting in your drawer, LA Girl Mix-In Pigments that we're not talking about today, but there's two of them, the white and the blue, if you have two warm of foundations. And then this one, if you can't get your right color, if you find your right color in this, you're on the right track and you're definitely going to save all of those foundations. And then their powder, the number seven powder, the Lift and Luminate Press Powder. This is so amazing. This is the perfect dupe. And I'm not kidding because I have it. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Away. I think this is a better powder than that. I think the Charlotte Tilbury is just a little bit heavier than that one. This one just, oh, so pretty on my skin. Um, I will say that if you're somebody that's super dry, you might not like it. But if you're somebody that is from dry to normal, maybe in the summertime, this is gorgeous. If you're somebody that's oily, it's gorgeous. Somebody that's combo, it's gorgeous. In this T-zone right here where I get a little bit of break apart, I can put this on and it's so, so pretty. You can use it to buff out your pores if you're somebody that is, isn't too dry. It's just, it's phenomenal. It's a beautiful powder that rivals Charlotte Tilbury. I think it's better. I know that you get more in here and I think the packaging is every bit as gorgeous and I love number seven for that. And I've heard that their other powders are that way too, but I haven't tried those. This is the serum foundation, the Lift and Luminate Serum Foundation. This is supposed to be for blemishes across your face. I use it for a it's not foundation, it's concealer. I use it for my concealer and it seems to work just great. I do like this little bit of a warmth to it or a little bit of a yellow cast to it because if I put a pink concealer underneath my eyes, my eyes are going to look darker because I already have the cool toned under there with the purple and the blue of the dark circles. So putting something that has a little bit of a yellow cast on there can really counteract that and make it look great. So definitely look into this as a concealer. It doesn't settle into my lines. It's super light. It's not like a full coverage heavy concealer. So if you need more coverage from it, put your first coat on, really blend that out, thin, thin coat, and then go in with another coat and just let it sit, you know, lightly pat it, let it set for a second, and then go in and lightly blend it again and you'll have such good coverage, but you'll have very, very thin coats. What the problem is, is you can get into is thinking that a concealer like this doesn't have enough coverage, so I've got to use more. Don't use more, just use thinner coats and you'll be so happy with it and I love it. Lastly, we have Flower Beauty. And if you've been with me, you know that Flower Beauty is one of my very favorite drugstore companies. You can still buy it on Ulta's website. If you have a Kroger around or a Kroger based um, store like Fred Meyer, Smith's Marketplace, that kind of thing, you should be able to buy this in store because I have it at my local Smith's Marketplace. Recently, they did send me a few products and this product was the standout one. This is the 
Eye Brightener um, Pencil Eyeliner. I put this in my waterline. It's better than anything I've ever used in my waterline for brightening. It's a beautiful kind of a beige light color. It goes in my waterline. It takes away that redness that's in there without giving darkness like you would with if you were doing black or brown or another color and just brightens up my whole look. Stays in the waterline for a really long time too, although it's very creamy and doesn't tug at all. And their lipsticks, I love their lipsticks. They're so nice. One of my favorites is this crazy, beautiful fuchsia bright color, and it's called Dahlia Desire, and that is such a pretty, pretty lipstick. I love that lipstick. I'm going to try that on for you. Let me remove what I have on, but I want to show you how pretty this color is. Such a beautiful color. Oh my goodness. I love that. It is a beautiful fuchsia color. One of those colors that I never thought I'd wear, but when I got it, I was like, oh, this is pretty. I'm going to pop a teeny bit of gloss on there on the top of it because I have to have my gloss. That's a Fenty Beauty one, by the way. It's just what I had in front of me. And then the other one I've been told is a dupe for a Charlotte Tilbury. This is Autumn Rose. I'm not exactly sure which one that's a dupe for. Maybe her medium pillow talk one so pretty just gorgeous these are a very long lasting formula because they are a little bit more on the matte side i would say that they're satin matte um, but they're beautiful just a gorgeous formula i, I would say that these are better than most high-end um, lipsticks that i've ever tried i wish that she'd expand her line and come out with more because these were some phenomenal phenomenal lipsticks one of her products that i've been touting ever since it came out is the flower bomb blushes this is a very gel-like formula, but it's got that creaminess to it. And this one is, I don't remember what this one is called. I'll throw it up on the screen for you. But this one is like a bubblegum pink color. And you look at it and you would think, well, that's not going to work. But as you work with it and you go and you buff it out, it is so pretty <laughs> on anybody's skin. It just is one of those ones that I think that you could buy just about any color in and you could get away with it because it will sheer out or it will build up and it's just, it's so pretty. And once it dries down, it's budge proof, it's on there. And yeah, those are beautiful, beautiful blushes if you've been looking for a cream blush. And then their highlighter, oh my goodness, I love this palette. I've talked about this palette over and over again. Um, if you guys have been with me, you know that this has made it into so many favorites. And this is the one that has the three colors. There is one that is darker than this, but this one works really good for me. You have the goldish color, the pinkish color, and then the champagne color and all three of them are so beautiful and I have absolutely no spots left. So we're going to go right there and I'm going to just show you the reflect on it. It's hard to see on camera these highlighters, but this one is really pretty and it just has lasted me forever. You're going to have it for a long time. Little brush went there long time ago went bye bye. I just think these are really beautiful and they're ones that are really close dupe for Becca's. They're just pretty dang close as far as texture, the way they wear, that they have no sh uh, shimmer in that, sorry, glitter in them. They just have the shimmer and the shine in them. I love this little palette, it's so pretty. And then Flower has their Light Illusion powder that is close to a Charlotte Tilbury dupe as well. I think that these powders that I've shown you, the number seven and this one, I believe personally that they're creamier than Charlotte Tilbury. I love them. So if you don't have access to one, maybe look at getting the access to another one. This one has the compartment in there. Such luxe packaging, but what's inside is the gem, which is that creamy, buttery, blendable buffing powder that is so good. So I would say that if you're somebody that's oily, you are gonna fall in love with this. If you're somebody that just likes wearing powder foundation, this is almost almost that. It's so creamy. It's just a beautiful, beautiful powder. Lastly, but definitely not least, are the setting sprays. I have two of them. She has the regular one that doesn't have, um, that is more of a matte formula. So, you know, you spray it on, it gives you a very matte look to your skin. But this one is the hydrating one. And then this one is the illuminating one. The illuminating one, I don't know if you can see that or not. I think it has like shea butter, and illuminating properties in it. I'll try and throw that up on the screen, but you have to shake it first of all, and then you can spray it on your face. Now I have gotten to where I do the brush, spray it on the brush and then use it on my face, which I do all the time. Um, one thing is these misters on these ones are super fine. This is probably the best mister I've ever found 
anywhere drugstore high end the mister is so fine that you can you know spray it right on your face if you want to that's why i love using the brushes because you don't have that problem this does have a fragrance so you know they both kind of have a little bit of a fragrance but if you want to just kind of dab this around the high points of your face again it's going to give such a beautiful glow to your skin and then if you're somebody that has dry skin and you don't like setting sprays because you feel like they dry you out the hydrating one is so good this is what i use all the time before I start using the Charlotte Tilbury that is in another video that I just filmed for you a minute ago But I do still use this one especially in the summertime I like using this because even though it says it's hydrating in the summertime It sets my makeup down really well, but it doesn't dry me out and it lets the life of my skin show through these are so good. So I think that's it. I think that's all of the products from Flower Beauty. Now I've been through everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate you spending a bit of your time with me. Is there anything in these three brands that I haven't tried that you feel like are phenomenal products? I have tried just about everything from all of these brands and I feel like this is the cream of the crop and this takes the guesswork out when you get to go shopping you get to just look for the products that i've shown you today so i hope that you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up on your way out of here everybody take care of yourselves I'll catch you in my next video love you bye bye